Ladies, good morning for those of you who are just joining us. I'm sorry we're having a real problem with Wi-Fi and I put it onto Wi-Fi, I was on 3G, but it's Sunday morning in London, it's very sunny, glorious weather. I've got a shitload of stuff in my bathroom which I wanna show you. You can see, kind of, let me lift it up and just show you all this stuff that I have gotta go through and I'm gonna go through with you ladies. Some of it I was sent by, ah yes, I was sent by beauty companies and I don't always be like, be. I don't like always to be sent stuff because it's not for me. It's not things I ordered, but what they do is they get me um, and they send it to me. So we're starting. Let me turn the lights off here because that might help. Is that going to help? That might help. Yes. Okay. Hello. Am I back? Am I back? Nina, good morning. Lisa, good morning. Beth, good morning. Every I just can't believe it. <laughs> I'm just going to... It's something is so wrong. Can my BFF cream be used as a primer? Yes, it can. It's, it's fantastic as a product. But I'm gonna start off today, ladies, with my bloody exfoliator. <laughs> this is so testing. We have so much to get through. There are so many products in my bathroom that I need you all to test for me. Jamie, good morning, good morning, Lynn. I'm going to start with Saved by the Wi-Fi, I agree. With Andalou, which is an organic brand I love. I get it in Whole Foods. It's not expensive. Um, this one I got as a pack of five, which was uh, in their sensitive skin range. It's their rose range. You might remember in this range, I love, I love their mask, which is the Thousand Rose Petals mask. It's a sort of 14 pound mask, very super hydrating. And probably if I couldn't, you know, if I couldn't afford Sizzly, I would buy this mask, um, the Black Rose mask from Sizzly. I'd buy this mask instead. It's a very good organic substitute and much less expensive. Um, but they have an exfoliator in this sensitive range. And because my skin was playing up, I decided to use it. And it's, <coughs> being an organic brand, there's obviously no micro bead beading. It's quite similar, oddly, but better than the um, Aven, which I recommended to all of you for so many years. Because, I don't know those of you who bought the Aven. The Aven is a wonderful product, but this, her, is le feels less sticky on the skin. The exfoliating particles are smaller and the smell is less fresh. So I just put that on because I'm gonna start on with my morning routine and I just want a really clean face. So I'm just gonna rub that along and then take it off with a um, hot towel. Okay, there we go. But any of you looking for an exfoliator and you know how much I believe in exfoliation, then, and you have sensitive skin and you're thinking, what am I gonna do? This is great, really great. Good morning, good morning, everybody. So, taking that off. Now I'm gonna show you very quickly because you ask often about my regular routine. I've lost my glasses, they're not in the back of my head. The problem with these fantastic glasses, they're so see-through, I can't see them. Have I tried daily superfoliant from uh, Micrologica? Dermalogica, I have, and I think it's actually very good. Let's show the ladies, because if we're talking about exfoliators, there are so many, um, but um, who was saying that? Yes, Kelly, this is, this is very good. One second, what's the best super duper hydrating face cream for dehydrating skin? We can get there. Um, anything recommend the, the Lancer Exfoliator? Well, the daily micro exfoliant from Dermalogica is really good and strong, but it's the kind of thing that it comes as a powder and when you mix it with water, it becomes, you know, it exfoliates. And they have one also which has clay in it for oily skin. They're both brilliant. Um, I would say, <coughs> if you want some alternative to Dr. Lancer, hmm. You know another weird alternative, I have it here, the problem with my bathroom being so messy is I can't find everything, is the <coughs> Dr. Hauschka cleansing cream because it has these particles in it and it really exfoliates. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got two other, I've got two other exfoliators which are great. Uh, this is all, um, so Maria, the Sugar Face Polish from Fresh, it's probably a little bit less. Fresh is a wonderful brand I discovered at Sephora in Paris. It's been around quite a long time. And this is kind of sugar-based. It smells also, what weirdly, of sort of grapefruit, which has been um, buried in the earth for a year. Um, can't describe it properly, but it's, it refines and nourishes, does that. Andalou has a sea salt exfoliator, same make that do the, those. So those two together, that's a really simple, in total, 28 pound facial. Um, and it's sea salt, so 
that those work too. There are so many, and I love exfoliators, Maria. So um, if you go on, just just to let you know that on, uh, we had to take down Trini London, dot London, the blog, but it's gonna go up again into trinilondon.com. And we're just now doing some technology to get it in there. But in the meantime, all the posts I've done, you can see them on um, YouTube. All right, just for, for a lot of you were asking about products. So do I use acid toner and physically exfoliate in the same day or routine? I do, and if I'm using an acid toner, in fact, let's just get into some acid toning. Um, if I've got here, now, sometimes, depends what mood I'm in. I'm gonna very quickly show you three routines I do a lot. When I'm on a day when my skin has had a hard time, I'll do a gentle exfoliator. So let's say I've done a laser treatment or I've done too much, um, you know, strong vitamin A or just got redness around here. Then I'll do a, an exfoliator for a sensitive skin range. Then I'll do this, which I was taught by this wonderful woman, Villian Talismat, who's a kind of nutritionist plus facialist. And it's collardile silver. And whenever you have any upset, it's a sort of natural antibacterial. I always take a few dabs. I got this in the health food store. And this one you can apply topically. Um, but I, I never know how to pronounce it. And, and I don't know how many. Colloidal dial silver. Um, so I put that on. Then I'll take a gentle hydrating mist. This is my routine for softness. So on Sakova do one. Many people do gentle hydrating mists. Um, one of my other favorites is Santa Maria Novella. They do a face relaxing water. In fact, I'm going to use that today. Um, and I'll just put some in my hand because you don't want to waste it on a cotton wool. And it's got some hydration in it. It's beautiful, this product, actually. Santa Maria Novella. It's a really wonderful product. Uh, the killer about this is it's only available from this two small pharmacies in England and in its in one or two other stores, Santa Maria Novella stores. There's one in Florence where they started, but it's be it's beautiful. But you could take rose water um, from your local boots, or you could take witch hazel and rose water, and that would be a toner. Uh, when I do a strong toner, I do do the P70 Biologic Recharge. So that's my other routine. Um, what do I recommend for? frown lines that doesn't involve Botox. I'd say facial massage, which takes me neatly on to a really nice new product, which I need to bring to you and I can't find it. Hold on. That's the Sukari. So much to talk about and give away. So we have to get through this quickly and then I'm going to do it. Um, okay, two new products. That and where is, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the oil, the new oil here. All right. Vicky, I would consider doing facial massage and there's many different ways you can do it. I'm gonna talk about two new products now whilst we're here and one of them I'll do a little bit of facial massage with to show you, okay? The first one is Neostrata. And Neostrata, I first heard of because I went to have a facial with Caroline Hirons, Hirons, and darling Caroline Hirons, and she gave me some pro collagen from Neostrata and I really liked it and I used to use it in the summer um, with my um, HelioCare SPF 50. And then Nadine Baggett came to see me and from, hello, really lovely lady. And she said, Neostrata have all these amazing things. Let me send, get them to send you some stuff. So they did. And I was like, oh, uh, but I've been trying that eye cream and you know, I'm weird about eye creams. I don't particularly think eye creams have a place in my, um, in my routine because I just use a serum, but this eye cream is really bloody good. And I'll tell you why I like it, and I haven't even researched the ingredients. I did look up actually, and it has the way the way Neostrata works. It still does acids, but it does it with your pH balance of your skin at three fifty, at three sixty. It does this kind of thing of using acids in a different way. It's very complicated. Victoria, who's the lady who works with me on understanding ingredients, we went through it. She was trying to explain it to me, but she had, is a biochemist, so trying to explain it was quite tricky. Anyway. It says it lifts and firms and smooths lines and reduces puffiness, which is a big claim for an eye cream. But I think what I found good about it is you put it on and something in the ingredients makes it tingle. But unlike other um, eye creams that lift and firm, I don't feel I then look and see that, you know how you can see that tightness sometimes in an eye cream when it's doing that lifting and firming? This has in it, I don't know if in it, that 
gives you a nice finish. So I love that. I'm gonna go on to a bit of facial massage technique with Drunk Elephant. I've been trying out a few Drunk Elephant products for the last few weeks. Two I'm loving, because you all talk about Drunk Elephant. I know the toothbrush, sorry. Um, and, um, and I've been, I tried the retinol before. But this is Sukari Baby Facial. And it's a kind of AHA, little facial and quite strong. You put a little bit on like that. You leave it on for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, take it off. And then you follow with the honey, not honey, marula facial oil. And it, it smells like honey. But this oil is really good. And I did the whole routine yesterday. I was trying in my bathroom for probably the third time. And I was thinking this actually is a very nice at-home facial. But for... Maria, who's thinking I don't want to do Botox, um, I would consider every morning, if you can be bothered, if you can be bothered, a little routine, which a few people have told me over the years, and I've added these elements together, and I'm just gonna very, very quickly show you. So, there is the principle that my grandmother taught me, which I've never given up of, which is A, E, I, O, U, all right? And the, 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 how that actually works, it's not really an old wife's tale, is each <coughs> vowel uh, makes you, ma makes you um, work out different parts of your face. So A, 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 here, A, your neck. E, 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 is get those cheekbones. So if you're somebody who's had a few days where you have not been smiling, E, E, E is going to help you smile and push out the cheekbones again. E, 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 I, I. I, when you do the I, you go I, and you really feel, stretch your mouth, I, okay, I know I look mad, do it, just ignore it there, um, A, E, I, oh, hang on, I'm going to, O, 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 and when you do the O, do O, and really stretch out your neck, O, O, and then you, 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 so this will help your neck a lot. Mainly for your neck. When you're looking at doing your eyes, I do my little push up with my middle finger and pull down my eye lids and really fight against the pressure of my fingers still continuously pushing up my eyes. This is actually something I do every morning, ladies. It helps with puffy eyes, it helps with lymphatic drainage, and it allows you actually to decrease the puffiness of your eyes if you've been I get puffy eyes because I lie too flat in the bed or I eat too much ice cream at night. That's why I get them. And most people, it's that or it's a drinking or it's taking a sleeping pill. You know, things that give congestion. So we need to wake up our skin again. Another one that's very good for kind of lymphatic, which you could start with, is you go and you go down to just above your collarbone. All right, let me show you here. Very, very nice. Do you like my dressing gown? I just got given this by a friend of my sister's called Kitty Arden. She's a painter, but I just fucking love it. Um, and you press kind of where your collarbone, above your collarbone, there's this soft bit of skin. So I want you to just press there like that. If you've woken up this morning, just do it with me, ladies. Press here and put your hands on either side of each other and just press in there. And you'll feel, don't get lightheaded because it can make you lightheaded. But what that's doing is kind of getting your lymphatic system waking up in the morning. And if your lymphatic system wakes up, everything moves around. If everything moves around, you don't build up toxins in your face. And if you don't build up toxins in your face, you will actually wrinkle less because wrinkles are a mixture of things. They're, they are kind of your skin just getting older, losing elasticity, losing its collagen. But also it's the, you know, I, I think just letting all of the things flow underneath your skin in the correct form or your lymphatic system, taking away your dead toxins, your bad toxins, this all helps. Then I go up to my nose and I do the same again. It's like I'm pumping either side of my nose because there's a bit of lymphatic there and I'll just pump like that. Just pump in, pump in, pump in. And then I'll pinch here. I'm just showing you, you can all do this ladies, but I love the Drunk Elephant oil to do this with, and any oil, any facial oil, I have so many that I love, and I've got a few here I might be giving away. All right, so, like that. And then I would do a little bit for your wrinkles, for your anti-Botox, get your knuckles like that, at that angle, and just 
rub up your skin. If you have very sensitive skin, don't do it too hard. But at night, I think if we have a bad night, we're doing this. And that's wrinkly. I have had Botox, so I can't show you very much, but anyone who hasn't can know that feeling. And you want to sort of soothe it away. Soothe it away, lift it up. Soothe it away like that. Soothe, 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 soothe. I know I do this a lot, but I can't recommend enough. If people said to me, what are the things that really help your skin? I know I have laser and I'll have a PRP. I'll try out these things. But it's that daily routine. Daily routine. I have not pathetically gone a day in my life. One day I can remember I didn't take my makeup off before I went to bed and cleaning my skin properly um, and a little bit of massage, which I probably, I probably managed to do massage two seconds every morning, but properly maybe twice a week in front of the telly, um, if I'm on my own. And then I do my microneedling twice a week. I did some microneedling last night. And that combination keeps that consistency of my skin because I've been eating shit. I've done no exercise since I launched. So I need, I need to do something that's going to just give some life to my face. So that's that, Maria. I spent 20 minutes there, darling. What acid do I use for large pores and fine lines on the forehead? Acids. There are many acids. Um, and I've got a few here I'm going to show you, but large pores, acids do help. And Biologic Recharge is my favorite um, kind of pore refining toner, really. Uh, there are many others. Pixie Woo does one. There's, there's Dennis Gross does one, which I've actually got here, which I'll maybe give you ladies to try because I'd like to. The blouse was old H&M. Yes, it was. Sorry. I'm going to quickly go back to your questions because I don't want to feel I've missed out. The originals, I have tried tons, Amanda, and I've got many products here. And if I did a quick whisk of those of you for what's good from the originals. Ah, oh, can I just say the conversation we were having, the originals do have a glyconic tone of 7%. And that is not bad for the lady who has pores on the head because it doesn't, it's not expensive. It's just 7% toning solution. It's what many people are selling for a lot more money. That's something where there's not much difference you could get if you paid a lot. Um, that's one I like from The Ordinary. And if I go to, where are all my glow serums? Oh, come on, I had a whole thing of The Ordinaries. Um, the Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil, I love. It's a nice oil, it's quite thin, but it works. If you want to do a massage with a nice oil, do Rose Hip Seed. Rose Hip Seed is very, you know, Rose Hip is an antioxidant. And it also is very good if you have acne, if you have rosacea, if you have eczema. So to, to massage with that, you won't get any reaction. So that's a really great product. I've got more um, ordinaries here. So many bloody ordinaries, actually. Um, they have an AHA, BHA, AHA 30% solution. Some of you might have tried this. It's quite strong. But if you want to get into some alpha hydroxy acids, the ordinary have so many. So it's a great place to start. And they have retinol. There's a new retinol, 2% squalene, which is worth trying. So I do like them. I rate them. I think for somebody to get into skincare, I would recommend those kind of products so much over a sort of Vichy-ish, long commy skincare routine. Just saying it. That's what I feel. Um, because I'd rather have core key ingredients that are doing changes to my skin than some perfumed um, French brand. Oh, sorry. But I, that, let me keep my mouth where it should be. Um, any tips for Seb K's on your face? Don't know what you mean. What do you make about reoccurring chin spots? Reoccurring chin spots. Um, there's a product I bought for Lila, quite expensive, which, God damn it, if it's somewhere here, too much mess in my bathroom, which um, is by, um, not SKU. I'm going to try and find it, but it's very good um, for reoccurring spots. I mean, you've just got to have a very good routine. And if you've got chin spots, I find chin spots, funny enough, are either from, for me, if they're here, they can be hormonal. If they're sort of here, they can be that I took too many uh, flaxseed uh, capsules or a vitamin three uh, uh, or omega three, and that can give me spots. So chin spots are weird ones. They're not quite hormonal. They're not quite, they can be food as well. So check your diet. Um, you know, when you have them and they've already come, then consider things like, you know, maybe washing with a little bit of a, a glycolic cleansing lotion 
that's quite a good one. I'm now going to do my giveaway soon. Um, do you want me to start my giveaway or should I do some more questions? Have you tried in the ordinary? I've done that, done that, done that, done that. Is it similar to the, uh, uh, yes it is. I need something for sensitive skin. I would say, darling, try Andalou for sensitive skin because I love the whole range, sensitive skin range. It's very well priced. They have a great exfoliator. They have a lovely toner. They have a nice mask. They have a day cream. Day cream actually was boring, but everything else apart from day cream, I really liked. Um, what exfoliator can I use to get rid of blackheads around my eyes? Oily and sensitive skin. I mean, I think that using... I've got to say something like the Foreo is very good for dislodging blackheads. So if you're using an exfoliator, also getting in there with some vibration, because I think vibration helps to release a blackhead more than just pure exfoliation. Uh, so I would invest in a Foreo. You can get a mini one for £39. They're not all hugely expensive, but the big ones do become 100 and 110 pounds, but they recharge. I've had this one for a year and a half. One of the best investments in skincare that I have made. So I'm gonna put that on there so we can add everything on here because I'm not with anyone in the office today. Shift works, paying help with my skin help. Westy, poor bloody you really. Um, I think it's, you really kind of want things that are overnight miracles. And there's one or two things I'm gonna just suggest to you that you could invest in. One is Niod, and it's the voicemail mask, a really corny bad name, but it's very healing. It smells of camphor, and it's, it's kind of, it doesn't leave you dry in the morning, but it does seem to take the shit out the skin. And so uh, something like that, Niod is the most expensive part of Decium, which owns The Ordinary. So this is about, 20 quid, I think, 22 pounds, but it's very, very good mask. And, and maybe that's what you need to do. You just put it on overnight. If you have a boyfriend, it does smell a bit, but anyway, I um, hope that helps. Um, what can I, what do I put on before using dermal roller? I think if you're using a dermal roller, like a sort of Jean Philbert dermal roller like that, I usually put on a moisturizer and then just do a bit of dermal rolling. Um, and the lady who was asking about Botox, that also really works just to kind of wake up your skin. But if you mean a micro needling, which is, um, if I got one here, I'm not gonna put it on because I haven't cleaned it yet, but like the Glam Glow, do I call it? I always call it Glam Glow, but it's not called Glam Glow, it's called Glow Pro with a little red light. Um, I put on a serum beforehand because then I'll, what I'll actually do is I will micro needle then put on the serum and then micro needle again and then you find the serum will penetrate at least 50 percent more it's a miracle for things like that since i has a good silk one which is similar to the dermalogy it is actually what can i use for tint spider veins around the nose darling mm, not good on tint spider veins because i think they i mean there are different lasers there's something called wave which is this new laser that instead of cauterizing the vein does something else uh, it sends a laser shock, a laser through the, the blood vessel to get rid of it. Aurora is a, is a laser which also can help with spider blood veins, spider veins, but nothing else apart from medical, I think, can help with it. Um, I'm not good on that area. I'm sorry. Thank you. Blouse or HM. Um, what acid toning start off with is your, if you are a newbie? I would start, what would I start with? What would I start with? Something kind of gentle, really. Um, I mean, the ordinary, maybe, because it's not that high a percentage, it's 7% AHA. So that might be a good one. It depends on your price point, too. The glycolic, I mean, the, the P70 or whatever, the Biologique Recharge, is quite, you know, there's one for sensitive skin, so you could start with that if you've got more of a budget, because I love it, actually. I've got to go back and get a new one. I've got to buy some today. Um, Beijing via VPN, love that, love that. Just about to start retinol, can you recommend a skin cream, please? Do you mean a skin cream, Bridget, after your retinol? Um, I would say when you're using Retin-A, your skin can tend to flake off a bit. So I think it's very good to, to do a little bit of uh, oils um, on your skin at night, just to kind of give them some moisture as it's flaking off. It's not gonna stop the flaking off process. It would just allow you to feel more hydrated. So if you're on a budget, you could do the ordinary. Otherwise, I'm loving, um, I'm loving the um, Drunk Elephant. Another one I'm really super duper, super duper loving, like so much loving. 
actually my favorite oil at the moment, is called Hydration Recovery, and this is 320 megahertz, which is the Rose Otto range. And I don't know if you remember, I talked about this a bit before, but there's five, there's many amazing things about it. One is it's a roller ball, all right? So you put it on, you're not going to, the, the bottle's not going to kind of fall over. You just dab it on there. The smell, the smell, let me tell you, the smell is better than any smell of any oil I have ever used. And it's got rose otto in it, which is that wonderful, it's not like a tea rose, it's a little bit heavier, but it's not, it's not as heavy as a rose damask. It's just a beautiful, deep rose. And then the neroli that's coming through is incredibly, um, it's very good neroli because it's antibacterial. And then there's some macro algae in it, which is very good for inflammation. But it goes on, you feel, the richness of the oil, I've got two oils on now, but it is an amazingly good oil. I mean, amazingly good oil. And I put this one on in the daytime and there is a nighttime sleep elixir as well. I don't know where he sells. I think they might be selling in Space NK soon, but it's 320 MHZ. And this is the um, hydration recovery, uh, but it's brilliant. Really, really brilliant. I'm going to keep massaging and talk about you. Um, so I would do, my robe is not from Zara. My robe is from Kitty Arden, who is this friend of my sister's, but she does this thing, which is so amazing as well. She does great silk robes. They're not cheap. They're like 200 pounds, but they're divine. And um, she does these incredible jigsaws as well, where, where I had one of Lila made and she put in it all these other, kind of puzzle, all these patterns which were within the photograph, very complicated, but took me forever to do. I'm kind of a jigsaw fanatic, tragically. Haven't done them for a few years, but absolutely bloody love a jigsaw. Did anyone ever, if you like jigsaws, did you ever do, I did the Regensburg, Regensburg, the world one, the tw I think it was 10,000 or 20,000 pieces world with um, Lila's nanny, Jenny, over a long Christmas holiday and it was so satisfying. Um, skin treatments for teenagers, oily, spotty forehead and chin mainly. I like nothing better than a very nice organic range called Lue, L-U-I. And they have just a cleanser and they have a little spot treatment. I don't know if I have a little spot treatment. Yes, I do. L-U-E, sorry. And it's got a little bit of glycolic in it. I mean, not glycolic, um, Salic acid, which is for getting rid of spots. There's a bit of, yeah, I can smell the salic acid in there. But they have um, a toner, a very light moisturizer. The things are sort of between 12 and 18 pounds each. I got it from um, Content Beauty, but I think that's fantastic for a teenager because I don't think they need to go all chemically. And then if you went all chemically, if you want to go all chemically, um, then I quite like still Mary Badescu. Um, and that is, that would be like, the um, grapefruit toner, and then she has a, a, a mild glycolic wash, and there's the drying lotion, which is a good product, but you've got to be very careful with the drying lotion because this this is good for spots, this one, but teenagers will tend to overuse something, and they literally want to go with a cotton bud and tap it on the spot, not on the surrounding area, because if you dry up the area around a spot, you then get scarring, because if you're a teenager and you don't pick, then you are a goddess but um, many do and sometimes the spot area becomes bigger and then they put this on the whole thing and then where they don't actually have any bacterial problems, it starts to dry out more and it causes, that's what causes scars. So just to say that to your darling daughter, Col Ideal Silver, heard so much good stuff about it, fantastic. I mean, really good. And my glasses, I have a look um, and do you take, don't take the page with your seven favorites off, please. I won't, you know what? That at the moment is on YouTube, my seven favorites. So you can get everything on YouTube, but I will be making things really concise on Trendy London and doing lots more blog posts, which are very skin specific. Um, Beijing, I'd love it. Uh, okay, now what products sense of skin after use of retinol, please? I would say, I would say, I mean, I love Andalou, I would say, La Roche-Posay, if you want to be medical and from boots. Um, my silver silk blouse was um, Stella McCartney. Neostrata is a really good range, I agree. Caroline Hero on, so true. Um, dehydrated sense of skin with eczema. Um, I would say, I would say Philip, oh, lucky I could bloody find these things. Trilogy, Rosehip, is a kind of more concentrated, better version of the ordinary one, but this is so good for eczema. 
and dry, dry skin. It's Susanna used to use this. She had eczema and a bit of something and it was brilliant. Um, okay, now I, I'm going to do Need Mascara for Very Sensitive Eyes. La Roche-Posay, um, if you haven't tried it, is really good and it's a hypoallergenic mascara. I got it in my small pharmacy in France. I think you can get it in Boots, but I, that's one of the best ones, hypoallergenic. Um, hello, I asked for your advice to go read my eyes and make up for my wedding, which is two weeks away. Happy to try eyeshadows for hooded eyes, which are blue, and I'll wear it for the wedding. Um, I can show you um, some makeup for the eyes. Yes. Okay. Can I, yes, I will put a list up tomorrow. Um, can I just say, Nicola, um, I'm so sorry that I didn't hear from you. Make up for your wedding. Um, I'd say for a wedding, you want to have a sort of daytimey. You know, I think it's very tricky on a wedding because you want to feel you look fresh. So I'm just going to be a bore. I'm going to really quickly not be a bore because it's all just delicious. I'm going to show you my um, what I use for a clean, fresh face in the day when I want to look when I want to look um, like I'm dressed up for a wedding, but you don't want to be a nice. So we're doing this for your wedding, darling. I'm going to quickly put on something to prepare my face. If I've got it, I'm going to put my, I'm going to do a little BFF. And we are definitely, there are so many products here, we're going to spend 10 minutes at the end doing that. So I'm, uh, there we go, I knew that, oh sorry, I'm just looking in the mirror. I've used um, my medium BFF, well I've used light and medium this morning actually, because I looked in the mirror, but this just gives me a glow. I'm then going to use some foundation. Um, I'm going to use my foundation, which is Trintron, my foundation shade, because I really wanted a foundation which was going to not make you look like you had makeup on. So for a wedding, you don't want to look caked in makeup. But you want those wedding photographs to reflect the person you are feeling at your best. But I think that many women, I remember for my wedding, I did my makeup too strong. And I look back at those pictures and I see that strong blush and I think, oh, why did I have so much makeup on? people sometimes who come and do our faces for our wedding who've never met us before and then we think oh my god I wanted the luxury of the makeup artist but what happened to my face and who's that in the in the wedding photograph so I like the idea if you could do your stress and somebody should do it for you face and doing your makeup naturally so try and find a if you if you don't if you can't afford my but is going to give you the best you know really beautiful skin which will not look like it's got foundation on, but will cover everything. Um, then I would kind of not use a strong blusher because I did use a strong blusher on my wedding and I didn't like it. So I'm going to use Electra for me. If you do your match to me, you'll find the tone. But just a soft blush, you know. Uh, you want to look that pretty soft bride, unless you're a nighttime wedding. I just saw, actually, I'm quite obsessed with Sally Hughes from The Guardian, and I was looking at her wedding picture. She did actually have her makeup done, I think, by Mary Greenall. But she, um, a little bit of contouring, because I probably would, um, people taking photographs. So I'm gonna do the right light, which is our highlighter. And this is just going to give you, when the flash bulb goes off, it's going to help to define the contour. On you, cut off again, there we go. So I'm just putting on a little bit of right light so it gives you that glow. And then I'm gonna put on my contour, which is quite a bit in my finger, and start at my hairline and just go down. So you get yourself a little contour, but you don't feel you're wearing makeup that's going to wear you. So I like that. And then I'm gonna do my whole thing. I could actually use other people's makeup that I love my own the most. I would probably do a very neutral um, stain on my lips and then I'd have a lip gloss that I could touch up with so I'm going to actually use Freddie it gives a little bit of color to my lip like that it's really going to I don't it just is taking my pigment and intensifying it really and then I put a tiny bit more on my cheeks there because this lip and cheek will really stay so it will stay all day long so there so i'm just feeling glowing and then i'm thinking oh am i feeling too glowing if i'm feeling if i can find it no i can't find it now hang on I'm trying to find trying to find something for you darling yes wherever i'm feeling too shiny i'll do my face finish um we don't want to look shiny in photographs that wouldn't be good so you take the face finish and i actually take a bit scrape it with my nail 
put it onto the back of my hand. It looks weird, this technique, but I'm sort of making a little paste and then I just rub it where I'm a bit shiny, like that, you see? And it just takes down the shine on my nose, on my chin, around my nose here. But I'll want to keep the shine, I want to keep the shine just here because I think that's very pretty to have that shine there on one's face. And this also allows you through the day to put more on. So when you're getting married, you don't want to be caking yourself in more and more powder because that's just going to give you a face that you can't even uh, smile. And then eye makeup. So let's talk eye makeup. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to suggest to you is, if I can find it here, I've got so many bloody things here. Sorry, lady. You have to have some patience with me. Let me see. I can't find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. I want to find fortune. I want to find my fortune. I want to find my fortune. And I cannot find my fortune. Oh, yes, I found my fortune. So, this is one of the easiest colors to put on if you have blue eyes. So, it looks like that. It's a little bit sparkly, but not too sparkly. But you just put that on in the corner of your eye and you just build up the color like that. And you just get a bluer eye. <laughs> I look like a mad woman, don't I? Um, I put it on, I haven't got a mirror, sorry, it's really. Take your clean finger and just then blend it like that. But eye makeup should never have been so easy. Um, and I'm now going to finish off with, what am I gonna finish off with? I'm going to finish off with, I'm gonna do a bit more Phoebe because I was just thinking, actually, I could have a bit more color on here. I'm gonna think I, mummy now. Anyway, so I'm getting ready for mummy and then we're gonna look at product. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What am I gonna put on next? So I've got such a mess in my bathroom. It's like beyond messy. Okay, I'm gonna put on Lila. I'm gonna put on Lila. There, putting on Lila. Okay, I'm done. I'm ready for the wedding, darling. Please invite me. Um, now, are you ready for the giveaway? Because I've got a shitload of stuff here and um, I hate the hell, Maria. Um, okay, now let's just see. <laughs> Hold on, there's so many questions. Um, thank you, darling. Warsaw, one crazy, I know, I am, I am, I am. Now, I'm sorry, I'll read the questions later. But first things first, I'm giving you this. I don't really know what it is. I've got to get out of my bathroom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them. I've got this side of the thing is everything I'm going to talk about for the blog. So I'm going to put those on so you see them and I won't forget them and we can write them up tomorrow. And on this side, I'm going to put the stuff I'm giving away. So millionaire hair mist. I don't know enough about it. Somebody sent it to me, but I'm going to read it to you. Uh, this is for what it doesn't even say nourishing oil mist perfect for creating super shiny hair All right, you know what? I'm gonna just try a bit because my hair is really dry at the end So let me tell you if this works. It doesn't mean I'm not going to give it away. I'm still going to give it away. Okay, so nourishing oil mist Come on so many things never spray first time. Okay, there we go Mmm -hmm. Mm. Mm. You know what it is? I would say they're naming it incorrectly because it's a bit of a texturizing spray with hydration. That is anybody's who would like it. Please tell me why and give us an address. We want to just send them off. First one, who would like it? Literally give me your address and, um, and we'll give it to you. That's the first one. Because I've got to get through 20 now. All right, then we're going to go on to... This product, now this is a really nice product. Algen has sent me a load of stuff. I do like one or two of their things, but I find this one tricky because of the smell. Um, it is meant to be very good. It's a recharging night press serum. It's probably very expensive. Um, and I have used not much of it. Well, I, I dug in because I think I put a bit on my decollete. But it's very clean. I'm very clean with my, 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 um, with my products. Now, for me, I love the smell. But the smell is like, I'll tell you what the smell is, hold on. Sickly, no, it's sort of sweet. If you like Laura Mercier's burnt caramelly smells of her things, you'll like that, okay? Whoever would like that nice night cream to try and, also we want your feedback, because these poor PR people have sent this stuff and 
I'm not trying it because I, I'm not inclined to. But I'd like you to tell us what you think about it, all right? And please, somebody who has the right skin. So I think this is probably for, it's probably a very expensive product um, from uh, Algenist. Um, doesn't say who it's for. I'd say it's for mature skin. Um, then we're going to go to another one. Genius Liquid Collagen from Algenist. Um, I want to see what you think. Liquid Collagen. Let's see what it's going to do. It's got the same smell. That's why kind of it's coming out my bathroom. If you want to have hydration, Liquid Collagen is a very nice name to have on a bottle because that's what we all lack as we get older. So if you feel you'd like to try some liquid collagen, see where you could put it in your in your skincare routine. The only bit I've tried is the bit I've um, the bit I've put on my my skin now. It doesn't say the ingredients very much. They aren't that clear, which I find highly irritating, but it could be interesting. So just put your name down, ladies. Put your name down. All right, next one is Kevin Murphy Shimmer Me Blonde. I don't have blonde hair. They sent it to me. Ugh. It's um, a repairing shine treatment for blondes. Any blondes who would like a repairing shine treatment, tell us and it's yours. We will pay the postage. I'm in that kind of mood today. Um, the Ordinary, the Retinol 0.5 in Squiline. I have got the 2%, so I don't need the 0.5 because I can easily take the 2%. If you're thinking of trying a retinol, this is a really, really um, uh, quiet retinol, I was going to say, but it's one that actually um, is, uh, is not going to be too irritating. So there was one lady who said, can I try retinol? What should I try? That might be for you. Put your name on it. Okay. Yes, such a relief for me. Oh, uh, no, I, I think I'll keep that for a bit. Um, let's see here what we've got. Perfect facial hydrating cream. Okay, I've tried that a bit. So you might not want that. Ah, yes, these two. Helio Care. I love Helio Care. If you um, live in a country and you need an SPF 50, then um, they are brilliant. I happen to use the mousse, which I'll show you. Um, I use this one. And I used it a few times. I, I, I mean, I use it all the time. And they sent me a whole load of stuff. Very sweet to them, actually, because I'd run out of this. It was before the summer holiday. But they also sent me gel oil-free, not for me, because I need hydration. And the fluid cream, not for me. So any of you going away this winter need something. These are only two months old, three months old, and I haven't opened them. Remember, you've got to throw away sun care after a year, because I don't believe any of the SPF stays. But those are anyone who needs high SPF. I'm putting them on the sill, and they're probably 28 pounds each, I think. Um, if you buy them, you know, wherever you buy them. Um, what else we got here? We've got Etherell, Josh Rosewood. I really liked his, um, I really loved his um, hydration mask. It's this blue one I put on and it starts as a kind of crumbly mask and then it turns to um, oil. It's brilliant. And he sent me two things saying thank you very much. And he sent me a fragrance, but it's not my smell. It's sort of nice. It is quite nice, actually. But I've got so many and I only really wear one or two. Actually, it is really nice. But I'm going to send it to somebody. Somebody who wants a new fragrance. It's got in it. I think it's got sandalwood in it. Is wonderful fragrance. If you want to try a new fragrance, got oil balm. Oh, I'm trying that still. Um, um, no, 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 no. Okay, here. Yeah. Yes, skin insurance. That's good. Thirty. Oh, they won't like that. Okay. Um, you still there? Yes. All right. I'm going down. I'm now going down to this box. <laughs> so I'm not going to do all of it. Okay. This is a company, Zenny. Micronutrient Repair Night Cream. It just literally appeared at my bloody house and I don't know anything about it. I tried it once, but I cannot bear this technique for getting creative. It's a rich and reparative night cream packed full of micronutrients to help restore, repair and rehydrate the skin. Hyaluronic acid helps rebalance the skin's moisture content whilst vitamin A, C and E help fight free radical cellular damage. Could be interesting. I would like somebody, whoever actually gets this one, to write a review for us so we can all know what it's like. I don't know much about the range. I was just sent it. And as you know, I like to talk about things that I've kind of discovered myself, not that somebody sent me. So you try it, ladies, and let's get some testing going and see what you think. I'd love you to be my testers for this overflow. Um, what else have we got? That's one of mine. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I don't know why this is here or what it is. Or maybe I called it in. Experience the anti multi-active power of nutritionally tailored scientific and bio. Sometimes people write things and you think, blah, blah. This is, okay, let me just see what it is. Mm, it's quite interesting, quite interesting texture. But it does take a while to rub in. This is by uh, Fitome. To me, and I want to say, is it a hair care? It's Pores Hydra Cream Intense Repair Face Cream, and it's got with SPF filters, but it doesn't say what the filter is. I might try it that one because I think actually, okay, here's another one Pericone. Please stop sending me stuff, please don't use my address anymore. This is the Nero Peptide Facial Cream. If you would like to try it and tell me what you think, I'm very happy to. So far, there's not much I've, I've got into from this brand, but I might be wrong and you might try it and say it's really great. So please, somebody, try this for me and tell me what it's like. Great. Oh, we're getting there. We've got 10 things. Let's get to 20. And then my niece is coming and I've got to go. All right. This is something I wanted to try. Detoxifying facial. This is also my call-in bag. So, okay, Skin Sense by Abby Cleave, anti-aging leave-on mask. Please, somebody, can they be a mask trier for me? Skin Sense is a range that has good merit, but I've tried this mask. Well, have I tried this mask yet? Hold on, let me just check. Um, and it's an overnight leave-on mask for lost bounce and vitality, the skin leaving a smoother, more hydrated complexion. The nurse, was it Maria? The nurse who's on night shift or the lady on night shift, that's for you. Could you please, if you're still watching, just say, it's mine. And I want you to try this with a voicemail mask because I think you deserve that. Night shift is tough work. Um, I'm presuming you're a nurse. You might be something totally different. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want you to try this. There are ladies here and I got this whole range in for you. Um, there's a whole range. I'll find all of it. There's, does anyone who have eczema here know Glad Skin? because I was researching stuff for eczema for quite a few of you ladies who said you had eczema, and I found this range, and I need somebody with eczema to try, and nobody in the office has eczema. So somebody who has eczema, please let us know, and as long as you haven't tried this product, and there's three things that come with this range, and I want you to try it and give us detailed feedback as to what you think and whether it helped. And for me, to try things to know if I have, it, you know, for me to know if they have any impact on my skin. Some things I try for about three months, some things I try for two weeks, and then some things I try once if they're a mask with an immediate benefit. So something like this, I'd say you've got to try it for at least two or three weeks before you give me any feedback. But somebody with eczema, please, there's three products. Okay. That Zenny again has a hyaluronic boosting system serum. So I suggest whoever is going to go for that product goes for that and they try them in conjunction with each other and gives us feedback. Oh, yes. Yes. This is great. Oh, just so you know, I started the program with talking about Silver Shield and Silver Collider, which are very good for um, any... You know, like for me now, I've got this slight irritation here and you don't quite know what it is. Silver Shield is the first product I ever bought with Silver Collidio or Collidal. And this is by, um, I think it's by Nature's Sunshine. This is a very, very good one. So anywhere where you need some healing, that's great. Um, okay, I think, ladies, that's it. Oh, Algenis, I got another one, the eye cream, which I'm actually trying. Um, extreme triple micro deprivation. I'm trying that too. Um, I think we're there. Hang on a second. Morning facial. Um, is there anything else here? Oh, I'll give that to somebody. That's nice. If you want a nice light mist, this is very pretty. And um, no, I'm not, I'm gonna keep it for traveling. Sorry, I need it for traveling. Okay, um, hold on a second. What else is in here? Valmont. Valmont. I've been trying one or two things with Valmont and I'm not sure, so I'd like some other people to try Valmont. There we go. And this one is their Restorative Perfection and it has an SPF in it, um, 50, which is actually very good. So I think it's just a sun cream on benefits. Uh, it takes a while to rub in, but it does absorb. There's that kind of very nice smell. Actually, it's got a lovely smell. It's got that smell of Swiss Pharmacy. 
um, products like um, there was one Celtrex was one of the brands I use. Very nice smell, but I tell you this this is this is a probably um, a product that's in about nine different things. I think it's a generic thing. But try it. SPF 50 is excellent. Um, so I'm going to give that. So we've got 15 things here, ladies. That's about it. <coughs> I've got to get dressed and go and see my mum. Have a wonderful Sunday. Um, and we have just covered a bit today. I've got so many more things. The bathroom, I feel you're leaving me with a messier bathroom than when I started, which means I'm going to have to come back after I see my mum and, and have another big old tidy up and I might just do part two, God knows. But um, it's glorious. Let's all go and enjoy the weather whilst we can. And it's getting a bit chillier in England. So I'm going to be working today on this after I get back from seeing my mum. Tonight I'm going to be rearranging my wardrobe because I've been wearing the same thing every day for days. And I need to kind of have a new look. And um, I'm sure I'll speak to you tomorrow. Mwah!